All right, I'm back in the basement today. Uh, we are looking at my Craftsman model 139.53985D on the door, and I'm also just gonna have a few updates down here. Uh, first of all, I apologize if there's any background noise. We're actually getting a new deck put on right now, so that's what that is if you'll hear that. But anyway, yeah, so we got the Craftsman up. Um, this one went up really easily. Um, yes, I am using the square rail before anybody gets mad at me. The first time around, I'm going to try to show stuff with their, uh, original, with, well, it's original stuff, and well, this would have come with a square rail, so, yeah, that's what I put on here. Um, I am using the T-rail header bracket up there. Like I said in the video of the Rainer, that's going to be staying up, so... Yeah, uh, this thing is actually really, really quiet. Um, yeah, this is very quiet. It's always been a quiet opener. I mean, I've seen some of these that are pretty loud. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, one quick update. I'm using these pins now instead of the little key rings just because I find them a lot easier. And I can just pull them out like that. Um, I'm using the original button which the light works on it now oops um, I have the original keypad right here and then um, this is not the original remote this is the remote it would have come with um, I have the original remote but on the back of it it's missing the little thing that the battery touches so I can't I can't really use that remote. Uh, this one, I actually came off my uncle's Craftsman. First button runs it, and the second button controls the light on it. Doesn't always work, but that's fine. So, anyway, um, I'll give you guys come around here, and we'll give you guys a listen to hear just how quiet this is. I'm pretty impressed. Here we go. So yeah, that is a very quiet opener. Not really not bad for sorry about that. Not really really not bad for a basic craftsman. Yeah, sorry about all the background noise. So yeah, looks pretty good. Um we'll open it from outside here using the keypad. Uh so it's still programmed. It should be. Yeah. Looks pretty good from the front too. So yeah. All right, we'll close it again with the button as soon as the noise stops. Come on. All right. So yeah. There's the Sears once again. Of course, I love this opener. Um, just some minor updates. I put, oh, here it is. All right, so first, I actually have this little terminal strip. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put that somewhere, somewhere over here and have it like on the outside. And that way I can wire up a receiver out here and not have to mount it uh, on the angle iron because that doesn't look quite as nice. Sorry for all the noise, guys. I can't really do much about it. But yeah, so that's one thing I'm going to do. The other thing, I actually found these. It's a little magnetic thing. I might try and make some sort of, like, an open door indicator with this. You know, I can put it up near the top. I don't know. Just an idea that I had. But other than that, that's not really many updates. But yeah, that's the Craftsman. Um, not too special an opener, and the date, February 2011. And these light covers do vibrate a little bit, I'm sure without that this thing would be probably about as quiet as a... I'd say this thing is probably pretty close to the noise level of the Craftsman Belt Drive down there. So, anyway, there you go.